we crush and make aggregate for concrete, sand, uh, one inch rock, and three eighths chip. Our company's been on this site for about six years, I believe. And as you can see, we've changed a lot of stuff with uh, all new equipment. We're starting a, uh, a dry cut, but we're also blending that with dragline material. So we'll process that through our uh, Liberty Jaw Crusher from Superior. But we've got about a four inch opening on the jaw itself. So you're looking at about 800 feet of overland. Uh, that's coming off of a 200 footer off of our jaw crusher. This 800 foot stretch of overland will carry it up here to our stacker, which will then go through our P400 cone, our superior cone. The cone will, will crush it even further, and then our, our screens will filter that about an inch and an eighth, and then also a 3 eighths chip. We'll process the uh, end product through our wet plant, which is also a uh, superior designed and built. We were able to actually dial that sand plant in pretty good as far as moisture content and depth bed on that. It's been working out pretty well for us. When it comes time for maintenance and things like that, um, it's all bolted together. So, I mean, on the fly, even if you needed to fabricate something, it's fairly simple to do and, and you can do it in a fairly short amount of time. It's really simple to work with. We used to have to manually open our cone, manually tighten it. It's literally just the touch of a button. And it, I mean, it is nice. All the numbers are right there. They're, everything's digital. We're not complaining, that's for sure. We've been using Kimball for quite some time, as long as I've been here. When it comes to anything we might need here, I mean, screens, belts, rollers, you name it. When we need something, we get it. We haven't really had any downtime whatsoever.